Welcome back, family. You know what I need y'all guys to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, guys. My channel is growing. Despise not small beginnings. You understand? Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Comment, family. I'm trying to get into the YouTube algorithm. YouTube tripping sometimes, but I'm going to keep peddling it anyway. Support my channel by going to the Cash App, guys, and donating there. It's dollar sign drama 1980. I do appreciate you in advance. You also can support my channel by clicking on the super thanks located under the video, guys. Donating there as well. And like how I tell each and every one of y'all, I do appreciate you. Ten folds over, hands down. I'm proud that you're rocking with me. Well, well, well. I'm back. I know you miss me, guys. I know it. I know it already. Because I give you that raw, that uncut, that Easter. Make your nose bleed. Huh? God almighty. Family, I'm your gracious host, Drummer 1980. Telling from the Carolinas, Columbia, South Carolina to be exact. I hope you're having a good day. If not, ask yourself why you're not having a good day. And remember this. Listen to me. Happiness is an inside job. And it will always be an internal affair. Well, guys, I got a clip for you. And this here is going to get up under your skin a bit. But this woman, I, I you know what? I'm going to call your attention to the screen. Due to the fact that men make my ass itch, I have decided that I am single, celibate, and no longer willing to date anyone. However, if you insist on taking me on a date, there will be a $500 fee. That $500 fee can be paid through Zelle, Cash App, or Apple Pay. I'll send you my phone number and you can send the motherfucking funds. Then we can discuss an arrangement. However, if you decide that you're going to text me or call me before you send the motherfucking funds, you will be blocked. A daily reminder that you're the baddest bitch on the block. Somebody done told her wrong. She the baddest bee on the block. Mm. Did y'all hear this? Witchcraft. I'm about to go in. I ain't no need for me to hold back. If I would have paused it and you just would have looked at the picture of the woman without her saying anything, just examine what's before your eyes. What would you thought of the woman before she even opened up her mouth? Just by looking at her. I'm going to tell you what I thought. First thing that stuck out to me was them long pointed claws her fingernail looked just like raptor like eagle talents they was very long and pointed they turning y'all into critters and monsters and jigaboos and y'all can't even see it where do y'all get this style from of having sharp pointed 35 degree angle fingernails those things are like potential weapons on the end of your hand. The second thing that stuck out to me before she even opened up her mouth was that long blonde wish broom on her head. That's the second thing that stuck. Guys, I don't see what y'all see. I, I mean, I really don't. This is what y'all like. This why y'all stay losing. This why y'all end up in child support court complaining about the woman done did me. <laughs> she done did me wrong. All right, Joe Smith. Remember Joe, everybody? The ex-NBA player? I ain't got a lick of sense. I ain't even got the sense God gave a cantaloupe. They got the nerve to get on the internet and TikTok and everywhere and make video talk. Man, she did me, nigga. If you don't shut up, nigga, I would strangle you myself, personally. The first thing that came out of her mouth was men make her bottom itch I don't think that's men I think they call them crabs right I, I think yeah 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 yeah. I think they call them crabs anytime that you itching and you digging and scratching like you got the mains yeah they call them crabs okay don't blame that on men now. that there is a, a rash yes 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 a rash you might need to go to the doctor and get that checked out alright too much information alright what she said is you have to cash up her $500 if you want to go on a date with her. 
Don't blame me. She said it. I didn't say I'm just repeating her words. I'm not putting words in them. $500, guys. Step right on up. Hear ye, hear ye. Step right on up. $500 to take her out on a date. And then something really, really stood out to me after that. She said, after you cash out me the $500, then we can make some arrangements. She almost sound like she might be one of them workers. I know. One of them payment workers sound like to me. And if I was into that lifestyle, four, zero. Let me say, say it with me, class. Four, zero. What is that? 40, 40 what? $40. You think I'm going to pay you $5 when I can go get a whole woman for 40 a 50 a 60 a 70 And you think I'm going to go pay $500 to go on a date with you? So what's so grandiose about you? Huh? This woman, clearly, guys, clearly, clearly. And, and yes, I'm on my soapbox. I feel good. I'm on my soapbox. You caught me in rare form tonight. This woman, clearly, have an overestimation of self. It's obvious to me that this woman have an exorbitant, highly an unreasonable view on self. Can't you tell? And then she gonna make the video talking about just a daily reminder that you a bad B. Listen at the way she was talking. Swearing. MF this. MF that. If this what y'all attracted to, I see why you lose. Now, granted, guys, every woman that you talk to could be a potential witch. She could be crazy. She could have several brooms in the closet. Yes, I do understand that. But whenever that you see a woman like this, this here is a red flag. Flags everywhere. Flag on the plate. Flag everywhere. They flags all around you. And do not make a baby with her. My God. Keep you in court. This is the type of woman right here that would be smoking around your child or either she's pregnant or something drinking. And she's praying, smoking, smoking weed or something. And she praying. This is the type right here. To be honest with you, and I don't care what y'all say, because I know some ladies going to be up in the comments and say, oh, he over there. Don't worry about it. I'm not one of these broke niggas. Don't get it twisted now. If I must flex, I will flex. But don't get it twisted. I'm not one of these little broke niggas. No, no, no. <laughs> No, 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 no. Everything from the house down to the cars. And I'm not, but to the clothes, to the back of the car. I'm not one of these broke niggas. So don't try to, well, he just hating it. Hating on what? What I call this is low hanging fruit. I don't care how she look. Because she don't look that good to me. Because the minute she opened up her mouth, if she was a perfect 10, a perfect 10, Without even saying that, I'm talking about physically. The minute she opened up her mouth, she's down to a three. She's down to a three or two in my book. And then on top of that, she asking for $500 for no reason, but for a date. You should be honored to be with me. See, fellas, that's how you have to. I'm telling y'all, you have to approach it. Like you the man You the man When you get this in your mind I'm the man I'm the man That that. Uh, let me talk to you Let me talk to your soul fellas When you get that in your mind And you get confident Women Women will come up to you Women will be Literally Drawn to you and you don't even have to flirt. You don't have to do nothing. Women will be drawn to you because it's that masculinity what's missing in today's society. Nigga, I ain't putting on no skinny jeans, nigga. I might put on something fitted, but there's a difference between being fitted and skinny. You understand? I'm not walking around with my pants hanging off my rump. For what? I'm a man. A black man at that. Yes, B1 family. I conduct myself and comport myself as a man. I'm not hollering and hooping out there in public and screaming and 
swearing and using invectives and doing, I, I don't do that. I carry myself like a man. I deal with situations like a man. If anybody do something to me and I feel like I need to tighten them up, I don't have to broadcast it. I don't even have to tell my wife. Nobody don't know nothing. If you understand that type of talk, I don't have to be on camera. Hey, you can't, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout it low. Shout it, man. Nigga, I ain't doing none of that. I got something that'll reach out and touch you. Several of them. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> I handle myself like a man. I do business like a man. When I walk up in the bank or either I'm going to get a car or going to get a house, I don't go in there hoping it. Well, I don't know whether I can get this one or not because my credit might not be no good or either I might don't have enough money to put down. Nigga, I walk up in the car lot, whether it's Lexus, BMW, Cadillac, Esca whether it's a Cadillac Escalade, go, this is my range. I'm not a Rolls Royce guy yet. Not yet. I'm not a Bentley guy. Not yet. But anything from a Cadillac Escalade, I'm talking about new stuff now. New. 100,000, 110,000. That's probably about my range. A uh, S Class, a 580, uh, Mercedes, a seven series BMW, a eight series BMW, because I'm I'm thinking about an 850 grand coupe, but I don't know. We'll see. A uh, Lexus LS 500. See, I drive cars like that. The big stuff. So don't get it twisted. I don't go up in there where I don't know whether I can get. Nah, because I know already. Let me take a look at that right there. All right, go ahead and run my credit first. You don't want to drive it? Nope. Go run my credit. They go run my credit and come back. Oh, hmm. You good to get anything out here on the lot? Okay. Now, here's what we going to do. You see that price tag on there? You know I'm not paying that, right? <laughs> I'll teach you something one day. I will teach you something one day. Because they have a range. You understand that? It's a range. Most of the time, the car price is going to be on the high side, guys, if you didn't know it. And if your credit good, your money right, you can negotiate with them. They'll, oh, trust me, they'll come down. What I'm telling you is whenever you get your confidence up and you have to get some wins up under your belt, what you have to do is just go up to random women. Listen at me. Listen, because I'm about to give you some game. Now, usually I don't give people game, but I just feel pretty good. I told you, you caught me in rare form. What you do is you don't worry about whether she reject you or because it's not about that. It's about building up your confidence. What you do is you go just hold a conversation with her. Don't worry about sex. That That's your problem. Don't worry about sex. Just worry about engaging in a conversation with her. Make her laugh. Make her smile. And if you can do that, that's step one. You can walk out of Walmart knowing, oh, okay. Building up your confidence because that's one win up under your belt. See, it's a process to it. Now, some guys naturally have it. Some guys don't. But, but most guys don't have it. Probably 90% of guys don't have that. So then you engage with random women just holding conversation with them. That's all. Not going to just, hey, yo, hey, hey, yo, yo, yo. Cat calling women up. Nah, I ain't never cat calling no women because I don't have to. For what? For what? Cat calling. Ain't no cat calling. What's wrong with y'all Negroes? Learn to build up your confidence. And then you can approach women from a position of power. Not a position of weakness. Because it's one thing women don't lack. It's weakness. Mm. And I would expound upon that, but I don't have time tonight. Let me drop this one little jewel on you and then I have to go. This woman act like a whore. And it's one thing that y'all have to understand about a whore. A lot of whores have this thing for men. 
they don't like me. Mm. Think about what I just said. A lot of whores have this thing for men. Some type of way that they have tricked themselves or have psyched themselves out to participate in this degrading act in order to survive. And they have contempt for the Johns. And if you pay attention, a lot of them have girlfriends. Mm, I'm giving y'all too much game tonight. I'm giving you a little bit too much game. Yeah. But this woman here, who would pay $500 for this? Raise your hand. I want to see who is willing to pay $500 to go on a date with her. Because one of y'all probably would pay it. I know one of y'all would pay it. I guarantee you, she will find some old bug eye simp and she will knuckle him under and he'll be like, oh, baby, I just love her. Because no woman don't want no weak jelly back, no spiny man. How wrong with y'all? And if y'all notice something on a side note, I told y'all, you can go back in my archives. I told y'all. These whores was going to start going after these nerds. Look at what's going on now. Like with Aiden Ross and all of these guys. Neo, Kai, and all these guys. You seen these whores start gravitating towards them now? Didn't I tell y'all? Because they can use them guys because they're not accustomed to women. I've been trying to tell y'all this. The new hustle was to go after the nerd. I told y'all this. I said this. They would get with these nerds and use them And these nerds don't know what to do And they'll just use them up And then they actually gonna quickly Discard them <laughs> Guys but put it in the comments And tell me what you think about this girl here That asked for $500 In order for you to go on a date fellas Step right on up <sighs> Boy the society that we live in Is Beyond repair Beyond repair some things are going to have to crash and burn, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm all for it because sometimes you have to let it crash and burn in order to rebuild. So I'm down for that, too. All right. Until next time, guys. Peace. And remember, there is more. <laughs>